Okay, Sony making some moves. And a surprise Nintendo Switch game? What? Yes, right. What's up? Hello, All right. One play. What is going on, everybody? How are y'all doing? Before we get started with this video, give it a thumbs, thumbs, thumbs up, like, like, and subscribe. Subscribing is free, bro. Like and subscribe to the channel. We have a couple of dope gaming news items for this video. The first one is gaming related and is not. We got a couple more bangers. Bro, Sony... PlayStation and Netflix have struck a looks like a multi-million dollar deal to where Sony's IPs, specifically some PlayStation franchises, will have um, exclusive streaming on the Netflix platform. The deal includes the upcoming Uncharted uh, movie, um, Spider-Man titles, and other Marvel films, and so. Netflix, Netflix, and Sony, they've worked out a deal to bring um, Uncharted to their platform. I thought it was pretty cool. That's what we're going to lead off on. But speaking of un, um, IPs for Sony, bro, this is a little odd. The Last of Us remake is reportedly in development as we speak for the PlayStation 5. This is why I say this is a little odd because the game originally, if you know the history of this game, it originally came out on the PlayStation 3 and then it got, there was a remake for the PlayStation 4. That's when I first played the first one was on the PlayStation 4 and now they're making a remaster of the remake. Or remake of the remastered on the PlayStation 5, which is interesting. Interesting. I'm not too interested in this. Um, I like both Last of Us 2. The story in that game. One of my favorite video game stories of all time. Was so lit, so epic. But I'm not really feeling a remake of the first game for the PlayStation 5. Been there, done that. It, I think it's too soon. Like, Demon Souls Remake, dope. That game, years away. Years removed. Even though PlayStation 3, it is years removed. But I still feel like it's so soon. After just coming off of Last of Us 2, I would have preferred something else. Speaking of games and Sony, Days Gone 2 pitch has reportedly been rejected. That's all I got to say on that. All right, next news item. WWE is coming back 2k has teased an announcement coming at wrestlemania 37 for an all new wwe game and some fans can say well it's about time that the series comes back remember they skipped they took some time off in releasing the annual rehashing of the game because for several years, the game has had technical difficulties, glitches. Um, the game just wasn't polished. And so they figured, take some time off, polish the game. Can't wait to see how this game is going to look on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, next-gen platform. So this will be the first time the WWE uh, series will go into next gen console so hopefully we see some kind of graphical upgrade and 2k has improved the uh, the graphics on nba 2 speaking of nba 2k let me if y'all were on my gaming channel last night this, this is just a sidetrack bro my playstation 5 was getting me so hot last night my 2k file got corrupted 
um, online connective ish connectivity issues on Street Fighter. I was trying to play one of my sponsors in Street Fighter, um, and it wasn't my internet because we were online like talking to each other. It was all game related. Outriders. Oh my goodness, we just kept dis get just kept getting disconnected in Outriders, and that's just not a PlayStation issue. That's just a server issue on Outriders. And but long story short, bro, Sony. Do something. Do a system update. There's so many technical hiccups. It's, I think it's a combination of both the platform and um, developers. The individual developers on the system. But man, I was like, man, I couldn't even play video games last night. And I wanted to play video games. It was tough. Alright, 2K. WWE coming to PlayStation 5. Alright. Bro, next news item. Not too good if you're looking forward to this game. Deathloop, PlayStation 5 exclusive, game made by Bethesda, an Xbox studio. The game has been officially delayed again. And so, the game was originally, um, well, the, after the first delay, the game was supposed to be coming out in May. Now it's been delayed to September 14th. Um, citing that the game just needs more time to um, iron out some of the issues. So, Bethesda has delayed the game on Sony. Has it anything to do with Xbox? Is Xbox like, hold on, don't make that game on their platform. <laughs> because Bethesda is now owned by Xbox. And Xbox just sabotaged the plans. No, I don't think so. The game just got de um, delayed. September 14th, no big deal. I have to say, this game wasn't like really, really on my radar. It looks good. It looks cool. I like the art style. But I don't even know if this was going to be a day one buy for me. Make it free on PlayStation Now. I tell you, man, with the moves Xbox has been making on Game Pass, Sony's going to have to bring it on PlayStation Now. Um, now. Like at E3, their E3 presentation announced we're now combining PlayStation Plus, PlayStation Now, one low price, $14.99 a month, and we're going to launch Horizon Forbidden West day and date on PlayStation Now. The internet would go crazy, bro. But Xbox has put pressure on Sony to do something. Next, we got some Switch news items too, bro. This came out of almost nowhere, but it sort of made sense too. Borderlands 3 has been listed for the Nintendo Switch, all right? And so, a Peggy rating for Borderlands 3 Director's Cut um, has been spotted on the internet, suggesting for the Nintendo Switch, um, all pointing to a Nintendo Switch version of the game will be launching soon. And Borderlands makes sense for the Switch, the shell shaded art style, Easy, easy to scale down and still look decent running on uh, a, a, a considerably less powerful platform. And we have one more Switch news item. Destroy All Humans. This is official, not a rumor. Destroy All Humans remake has been officially confirmed coming to the Nintendo Switch in June. In June, in June. The game was recently remade for uh, um, other consoles, but the Switch version... It's now on the way. All right, dudes, those are all the news items for this video. Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming. We out. Peace. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60.